pain. Our teenagers want books, not bullets. Andrew Holmes is best known for comforting crime victims' families in Chicago. Keep this family happy. But he's also an elected trustee in South Suburban Dalton. So I'd like to take my hats off and tell them to him. Where he's an ally of embattled Mayor Tiffany Henyard. It was on a taxpayer-funded trip to Las Vegas last May, where Holmes is named and accused in a civil lawsuit of taking advantage of Henyard's then assistant after a night of drinking and smoking marijuana. She said she blacked out and woke up in Holmes' hotel room. The civil lawsuit claims Holm called to brag to a Dalton police officer who was on the trip acting as Henyard's security. Realizing a crime may have been committed, the officer is said to have asked Holmes to FaceTime. The lawsuit says trustee Holmes then panned the camera toward a bed where the officer could see a woman who was partially undressed. Now WGN Investigates has obtained a copy of a statement made by the alleged victim to South Holland Police 10 months after the incident. In it, she said the officer told her he he could see via FaceTime Holmes was not wearing a shirt and that he walked over to where she was sleeping and pulled her clothing back, exposing her private parts. The police report also says the woman said there were bodily fluids on her shirt and she saved it as potential evidence. Holmes has not been charged with a crime and has repeatedly denied wrongdoing. He told me last month that he was simply trying to help a younger colleague who was disoriented. The woman and the officer say they reported the incident the day after the trip to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who promised to take action. But the woman says she was soon fired and the officer was reassigned. And that is not the only news out of Dalton. Let's be smarter than that. This is, this is not just the price is right. Tiffany Henyard's top aide in both Dalton and Thornton Township, Keith Freeman, was charged with bankruptcy fraud for allegedly lying and hiding his income from the village. Legal experts say the feds could use the charges to squeeze Freeman to share what he knows about any corruption on Henyard's watch. Nobody is untouchable, so if this is just uh, the first domino to all of them falling, let it happen. Henyard's spokesperson declined to comment on the charges or say whether Freeman is still on the government payroll. Ben Bradley, WGN Investigates.